For this lesson, we are discussing systems of equations, and there's different ways that you can solve systems of equations. Today, we're specifically looking at graphing them. So first off, we need to know what a system of equations is. So a system of equations is a set of equations with the same variable. So like what we're looking at right now is linear equations that have x and y, uh, but it could be any other variables as well. A solution of a system of equations is an ordered pair, that's your solution, that satisfies both equations, so where they intersect. It can have zero solutions, meaning they never intersect, one solution, meaning they intersect at one spot, or infinite number of solutions, meaning they're the exact same line. So looking at these three examples here, so the lines that we're talking about, are here. So in this first one, those are intersecting lines. They intersect at a point. That point is our solution. We would have one solution. Here, all we see is one line because both lines are on top of each other, which means they have an infinite solutions. They're the exact same line. They're going to go on and on forever. And then here, they're parallel lines, which means they're never going to intersect, which means they have no solution. There's no point that they intersect at. So how do we use graphs to find um, well, the solutions? So we're determining if it has no solution, one solution, or infinite solution. So here we've got y equals negative x plus 5, which we also see over here. The y equals negative x plus 5 is this line right there. And then this second part we've got y equals x minus 3. So y equals x minus 3. So, does it have no solution, one solution, or infinite solutions? They intersect. They have one solution. For number two, we already highlighted the negative x plus 5. The next one that we're looking at is 2x plus 2y equals negative 8, which is this line right here. So if we look at those two, the yellow and the green, those appear to be parallel lines, which means there is no solution. And the last part we're looking at that 2x plus 2y equals negative 8 again. And then the other line, negative x minus 4, you'll notice is actually pointing to the exact same line there, which means it has infinite solutions. So now let's look at actually graphing those. Problem one, we've got y equals negative x plus eight, and y equals 4x minus 7. The easiest way to graph is if it's in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. And both of these are in that form, so this should be easy to graph. So for the first one, we've got uh, y equals negative x plus 8. So our intercept is at 8. And our slope is negative 1 over 1. So down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1 and so on. I like to plot a lot of points so that it's easy for me to graph. I'm going to get my ruler and I'm going to graph that line. Next one we've got y equals 4x minus 7. So our y-intercept is negative 7. Our slope is 4 over 1. So this one should be a positive slope going up to the right. So up 4 over 1, up 4 over 1, up 4 over 1, up 4 over 1. Then going to graph that line. So we're determining if it's no solution, one solution, or infinite solutions. They intersect, which means one solution, 
and I'm going to write what that solution is. The ordered pair, where do they intersect? They intersect at 3, 5. So their solution is 3, 5. Next example. y equals negative 6, and then 4x plus y equals 2. So for y equals negative 6, remember that this is either going to be a horizontal or vertical line. We're thinking of where is y negative 6. Well, every single spot on this line is where y is negative 6. So I'm going to draw a line just going straight through horizontally through negative 6. For the second one, it's not in slope-intercept form, going, so I'm going to solve so that it is. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. I'm left with y equals negative 4x plus 2. Now we're in slope-intercept form, where our slope is negative 4 over 1. So our intercept is at 2. y equals 2 for the intercept. And then our slope is negative 4 over 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. 4 over 1. 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. And then I can graph that. Okay, so again, these ones intersect, which means it's one solution. And the point where they intersect is right here, which is at 2, negative 6. Alright, last example. Both of these are not in slope-intercept form, so I'm going to solve them to put them in slope-intercept form. So first, let's look at x plus 2y equals 5. First, I'm going to get rid of the x, subtract that, so it goes to the other side. I've got 2y equals negative x plus 5. Then, we've got 2 so I'm going to divide y by 2. The whole other side divides by 2. So I get y equals negative 1 half x plus 5 over 2, or 2 and 1 half. For the second equation, we've got 2x plus 4y equals 2. So again, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract the 2x to move it over. We've got 4y equals negative 2x plus 2. Then I need to divide by 4. And I divide the whole other side by 4. This becomes y equals negative 2 over 4 equals negative 1 half x. And 2 over 4 equals plus 1 half, or 2 fourths, which simplifies to 1 half. So we've got our two equations. If I plot this one first, at 2 and a half is my y-intercept, so that's going to be about right here. And then my slope is negative 1 over 2. So negative 1 over 2, negative 1 over 2, negative 1 over 2, and so on. I'm going to go in the opposite direction as well. And graph. Then let's graph the green line here. Our y-intercept for this one is 1 half, so just above that 0 line. And then we have the slope, negative 1 over 2. So down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, and so on. Down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. Opposite direction. If I graph these, they appear to be parallel lines, which means they're never going to intersect, which means there's no solution. And what you might have noticed, if we look at these, they have the same slope 
yet they have different y-intercepts. So their slope is the same, but they start at different points, which is why they're never going to intersect.